Today we're going to talk about daylighting controls, which is this button up here, create new daylighting control. So this is used for um, controlling the lights within your space if you've got windows. So throughout the day, the sun will shine through the windows and light up the space. And at that point, you might not need as much um, artificial lighting in the space. So the daylighting controls will reduce your artificial lighting based on the sunlight that's coming through the window. So in order to do that, um, you can click this button. Um, let's edit the space first and click the button, new daylighting control, and you can just drop it into the space. It automatically drops it into the space uh, approximately three feet above the floor. Um, and that um, that can be adjusted as you as needed. Um, and you can relocate the object um, to wherever it's most convenient within the space. You might want to do something somewhere in the middle of the space, um, depending on how um, how much daylight harvesting you're intending to do, and, and how um, how aggressive you are with with turning down the lights um, within the room. So um, that's how you drop it into the space, and we can click the inspector tool to take a look at the properties for the daylighting control. And you want to make sure that you click that daylighting control. You can see that it was dropped in here. It's got a name, the space name that it's associated with. Now it's important to note that um, you can drop these into individual spaces, but um, Energy Plus will only allow up to two daylighting controls I believe only allow up to two daylighting controls in a thermal zone. So, you know, if these two spaces were um, part of a thermal zone, this daylighting control would actually control this space and this space because they're part of one thermal zone. Um, now, to get around that, you would it's it might be best to assign separate thermal zones to each of these spaces um, if needed. So um, this is the uh, these are the position the coordinates of the daylighting control within the room. Um, these are the uh, rotation axes of the daylighting control sensor. So. Um, if we wanted to rotate this 180 degrees, you can see that this arrow changes. And we'll point this this arrow. This arrow is, is I believe this arrow is the glare sensor um, for um, doing um, window shading. And we'll get into that later. Right now we're just doing daylighting controls, which I believe is this arrow right here. It's just a general um, photo sensor that um, senses daylight in uh, um, or, or daylighting in in this um, uh, in this direction. Um, you can adjust the daylighting the glare um, angle to up. So um, if if you were doing a glare um, function and like I said we'll get into that later on you you can adjust that angle here but for now we'll just do that um, at zero for for just daylighting controls um, the illuminance set point this illuminance set point is the um, illuminance of the room in the middle of the night so basically when there is no sunlight coming through the window it is the design illuminance of your lighting fixtures and 
um, you're going to want you're going to want to know what that design illuminance um, of those lighting fixtures are, or at the very least, what um, the expected illuminance um, for the that this particular space type is. So you can put you can put that value in there. And and this is this is the design illuminance, and then basically the the daylight and control will um, dim your interior lights um, from a maximum of this value all the way down to your specified lower boundaries, which are these two right here. Um, the lighting control type uh, can be selected here, um, continuous. So. The continuous um, lighting control um, is, you know, it's, it starts at at um, your design illuminance, and then it it um, continuously dims the lights until you get to a minimum input power fraction and minimum light output fraction, which is which are these values down here. Um, if you select stepped, um, it it steps your lighting power down um, by the specified number of steps. So you can select um, you can select stepped right here, and then um, you can specify the number of steps that you're going to be stepping the lighting power down. But uh, we'll just leave that. Uh, leave this at continuous. Oh, um, and then continuous off actually um, lowers your lighting power down from design all the way down to a minimum input power fraction. And then at that point, um, it shuts the lights off. So let's go back to continuous. Um, Probability lighting will be reset when needed in a manual stepped control. So if you did have this set up as stepped control and you wanted to simulate this as um, not necessarily an automatic daylighting control sensor, but if you wanted to simulate if you wanted to simulate this as yes, there's people in the room, we don't have a daylighting control sensor, but the people regularly flip off a bank of lights during the day um, to uh, reduce the lighting load in the space. And, and that's how you would simulate sort of um, uh, the, the, uh, the activities of people um, stepping down the lighting themselves during the, sp during the day instead of using a, a, an automatic sensor. Um, and so this probability function here um, sort of um, takes into account um, the probability of people actually doing that. So you might say, oh, you know, 30% um, of the time, um, you know, if it gets too bright out, um, someone will flip, flip a bank of lights off. So that, that's what that probability function is. Um, the number of daylighting views for this, um, I don't believe this factors into energy plus, but uh, if you are going to be doing uh, the radiance, or if you are going to be running radiance, the radiance measure uh, in Open Studio, then this number of daylighting views comes into effect. And I, I believe it multiplies the number of... Um, number of these arrows here so it will it will equally space the arrows out throughout the room to get a better understanding of how well the entire room um, is daylit and then maximum allowable discomfort glare index um, that comes into a uh, into play if you are doing automatic um, shades on the windows so if it gets if it, if it, if the if the glare gets too high um, during the day, um, you know the windows will, will uh, or the window shades will go down. But uh, we'll we'll get into um, simulating glare in a, in another video. So that's how you input um, a daylighting controls 
into a space. Thank you. Please like and subscribe.